Hi, my name is Ashley Storby, field agronomist with Pioneer in Southern Minnesota. I'm here today in a soybean field that has some interesting symptomology I'd like to share with you. These particular soybeans are V3 push and V4 growth stage. These happen to be extend soybeans. So these were sprayed, the post application was made before June 20th here because we're in Minnesota and that's our cutoff. Um, so we have an extend product down here in our post that's layered with our glyphosate to take care of our grasses. And then we also have, in this particular case, our Ever Pre-X product. It's a group 15 herbicide to help provide us some residual to hopefully take us to crop canopy, though here it's going to be a while before we're at canopy. And these beans are actually further along than many in our area with the range of planting dates that we've had this year. Um, but with that, you know, we're thinking a lot more about making sure we have those residuals in the mix for our post herbicide applications in soybeans. Um, you know, looking to control a spectrum of weeds, but the big one would be water hemp as that continues to emerge well into the season for us. Um, so our Ever Pre-X is really important here. Group 15 herbicide, the symptomology I'd like to show you is um, some strapping that you can see on the leaf from those group 15s. Um, is, doesn't cause an effect on yield, but it's something you might see as you're walking fields. This is very, very um, textbook symptomology here. It's not always this extreme. You might just see some crinkling and the, the tip of the link, leaf pulled in a little bit, but this is very textbook um, symptomology here. So hopefully you can see that okay. And then, um, you know, just compare that to a, a healthier leaf without the, the symptoms here. And you can see that point is what's pulled in here causing that strapping. So no concern about yield, just some, some visual symptomology there. Um, yeah, really like to keep including our group 15s to provide us that residual and water hemp is one that we really fight in our area. Also, if you're still making your plans for spraying your beans this year, we are seeing a lot more um, volunteer corn coming through. So if you don't have a fuselade or a select max in the mix, consider bringing that in if you have some volunteer corn coming through. Uh, thank you and be safe. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.